This I want to talk a little plumbing and something I learned the hard way recently. Um, frequently, these shutoffs, these shutoffs are kind of temporary, like uh, not permanent, like the pipe, like a copper pipe is generally permanent in plumbing, and most stuff is permanent. But these, see how this has got goop all over it? It was leaking. And actually, you can replace the gaskets in these, but um, these, but there's the new type, you can't even replace the gaskets, but I'll get to that later. So then you have this, um, this ring, and that's how the copper pipe's sticking out. They put this ring on the copper pipe and screw it in, and it's real fast. The plumbers do this, or they did it 20 years ago, this, the 30 to for a number of years. But anyway, so I, I encounter this frequently. Well, this one, sometimes you have to cut it off because this ring won't come off the copper pipe. But in this case, I was able to slide the ring off the copper pipe. So I didn't have to cut the copper pipe. But the, the problem with cutting is the, the wall is right here. It's sticking out, you know, like this through the wall. So, you know, if you go to cut it off, then there's not that much sticking out anymore. So anyway, so what I thought I would do, since I had, oh, let's see. So I don't have an example, or do I? Yes. So this, what I like, I don't have an example of exactly the the modern. I like to solder stuff. So the modern way that this will be a solder fitting. But see, this here you is a permanent, not permanent, but you can't take it apart. And it's got a nylon... So it's got a nylon thing in there. If you get it too hot, it will ruin it. So I don't like these. Cause you, now this, well, I won't go to there. So what I thought I would do is, here's another one. This is, and so I thought I would uh, solder this part on, and then I could screw this part on. And then I thought, you know, the great thing about it too is when this gasket failed and starts leaking, you just unscrew it and screw a new one on there. So it seemed like a good idea. So I went to do it, and, and it leaked. So why did it leak? Well, I figured out, I had bought this fitting at a... Uh, Lowe's, this, and uh, the, you can see, I don't know if you can really see very well, but it's not a high quality uh, thread. In fact, right there you can see it's a, there's a kind of a flat place in the thread, and here it's not good when it starts. And I didn't make these, I didn't damage this thread. Um, it's just not, it's just not high quality. Um, now this one's brand new, let me see if I can find a defect on it. I left it in the... You can just kind of see it's like a sawtooth on the edge of those threads. Now this one is a high quality fitting. Can you see it? You can kind of, it's heavier and there's no sawtooth on the edge. The threads are formed, fully formed, and um, it's better. So I don't think that one would leak. But what I did, what I did, these threads are just terrible. And you think, well, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference, it, it'll leak. So, what I actually ended up doing was I found I had some of these and, and you can still buy these but you have to get them online you can't get them at Lowe's so this is the old-fashioned kind and you can take it apart oh I need a wrench to show you rats so when you go take it apart you can take this off but it really doesn't matter actually doesn't matter any way you look at it this is that same ring thing but you're not going to use this anyway. You're going to use a hose for here. This fitting here from here to the faucet. You're going to use a hose. That's the only way to 
do it. So this, you take this apart. And there's your rubber gasket. So then when you solder it on, this is just solid brass. And you can get as high as you want so that it won't leak. The solder won't leak, you know. Um, so that's my solution. And you can get these online. They don't cost a hell of a lot. Now, of course, a lot of guys use a shark bite. And I... It works, they work. I'd still say I'd do it just like this, except this part could be shark bite. You probably have to get that online to be sure you're to get the best deal or something. I don't know. Lowe's is such a mess. Depends on where you are. Uh that's all I have right now.